Hello, I'm here today to show you Nano Stream Cloud. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the basics. Don't worry, there are plenty of robust features to explore at a later time. Let's get started. First, we will need to log on. We can use the Bento account that we created in the previous streaming video. In this video, we will be talking about the latency control modes and how they can be set within your playback configuration. This will give you the best playback experience for your needs. Although setting configuration values is outside the scope of this video, we will go over each mode and why to choose one over the other. First, let's talk about the classic latency control mode. If no other mode is selected, the latency control mode is set to classic. This is also the most stable latency mode available, which is why it is the default. Next, we have the balanced adaptive. This latency control mode offers lower latency than classic, but with slightly less stability when network conditions are at their worst. Finally, for the lowest latency available there is the fast adaptive latency control mode. However, it's important to note that using this mode could cause buffering when network conditions are suboptimal. There you have it. I hope that this video has helped you better understand the latency control modes and the pros and cons of each. Stay tuned for more video tutorials in the future. Happy streaming! Thank <laughs> you.